ever wondered if your property taxes seem unjustly high? It's a thought that might have crossed your mind as you pour over your annual tax bill. Property taxes, a significant chunk of your annual expenses, are a necessary evil for homeowners. They fund crucial services like schools, public safety, and infrastructure. But here's something you might not know. Errors in property tax assessments are more common than you think. That's right. Your tax bill could be based on an incorrect assessment of your home's value. Now, imagine if you could challenge this assessment and potentially save some hard-earned cash. Sounds intriguing, doesn't it? Understanding the appeal process is the first step towards making this a reality. It's not just about disputing a figure on a piece of paper. It's about taking control of your financial obligations and ensuring they are fair and justifiable. Stick around and you might just find out how to save some money on your next tax bill. Before we dive into the appeal process, it's crucial to understand what property taxes are and how they are assessed. Property taxes, in a nutshell, are the main source of revenue for local governments. They fund public services like schools, parks, and roads. The amount you pay is typically calculated based on the assessed value of your property. A local tax assessor determines this value, which often is a percentage of your property's market value. However, errors can occur during this assessment, leading to a higher tax bill. For instance, the assessor may overestimate the size of your property or wrongly categorize it. These mistakes can inflate your property's assessed value and, consequently, your tax bill. In such cases, you have the right to challenge the assessment and potentially lower your taxes. Now that you understand the basics of property taxes, let's delve into the appeal process. The first step in the appeal process is gathering evidence. It's not enough to just feel that your property value has been overestimated. You need to prove it. This is where your detective skills come into play. Begin by researching comparable properties in your neighborhood. These are homes similar to yours in terms of size, age, and amenities. Take note of their assessed values and any recent sales prices. This information will serve as a baseline to argue that your home has been overvalued. You can also consider hiring a professional appraiser. Their report can be a powerful piece of evidence. Remember, the goal here is not to devalue your home, but to ensure its assessed value is accurate and fair. In addition, document any conditions that could negatively affect your property's value, like needed repairs or proximity to a noisy highway. With your evidence in hand, you're ready to take the next step. Yi Quan Shi Chong, step two involves filing your appeal. Now that you've gathered your evidence and done your research, it's time to officially lodge your appeal. The process may write, um, may vary slightly depending on your local jurisdiction, but generally you'll need to fill out specific forms detailing your objections to the property tax assessment. These forms can typically be found on your local tax assessor's website or at their office. Make sure to include all relevant information and attach supporting documents like your comparative market analysis, pictures, or expert statements. Remember, attention to detail is key. Double check everything from the spelling of your name to the parcel number of your property. And let's not forget about deadlines. Each jurisdiction has a specific window during which you can appeal. Miss it and you may have to wait another year. To sum up, be thorough, be accurate, and be punctual. Once you've filed your appeal, it's time to prepare for your hearing. The final step is presenting your case at a hearing. Now this may sound intimidating, but it's not as daunting as it seems. When you walk into that hearing, keep in mind that you're there to present facts. You're not on trial, your property value is. To present your evidence effectively, organize your information clearly. Make sure you have your comparables lined up, your photos ready, and your arguments prepared. Be concise, be factual, and above all, be respectful. 
During the hearing, you might face questions that challenge your appeal. This is normal. Stay calm, answer with confidence, and stick to your facts. Remember, your job is to make a convincing argument, not to win a debate. The key here is preparation. The more prepared you are, the better you'll be at handling any curveballs thrown your way. After the hearing, all you can do is wait for the decision. But remember, even if you lose, you've gained valuable experience for next time. Appealing your property taxes might seem daunting, but with these steps, it's entirely manageable. As we've walked through this process together, you've seen that it's not as intimidating as it might have seemed at first. Let's recap. We started by understanding property taxes, what they are and how they're calculated. We then moved on to the first step of the appeal process, which is to verify the information about your property on record with the tax assessor's office. The second step involves doing some homework, researching comparable properties and their assessed values to make a strong case for why your property's assessed value might be too high. The third step is to submit your appeal to the tax assessor's office and wait for their decision. These steps are not just a way to potentially save money, they're a way to ensure fairness and justice in property tax assessments. If you believe your property taxes are too high, it's not just your right, but your responsibility to challenge them. Now this might seem like a lot of work, and it can be, but remember, the potential savings can be substantial. Plus, you're not alone in this process. There are professionals and resources available to help you and communities of homeowners who have walked this path before you. So, if you feel your property taxes are unjust, I encourage you to take these steps and take action. It's not just about the money, it's about ensuring that you and your fellow homeowners are treated fairly and equitably by your local government. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment with your thoughts or experiences, and subscribe to the channel for more informative content. And if you found this video helpful, please share it with others who might benefit. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your hard-earned money.